Um, good evening. Uh, I am Dr. Ravinder Sapshetwa, uh, Assistant Professor in English. Um, today I am going to talk on Introduction to Business Communication. This is the first chapter of SYVCOM uh, of CBC's pattern, that is Introduction to Business Communication. So in this chapter, uh, uh, in this chapter I am sharing the screen of this chapter. So this is the screen, uh, PPT of this chapter. In the first PPT, uh, we are going to talk on uh, what is the actual basic communication skills, uh, from which word this communication is derived. So this is the uh, basic content of this chapter of this point. Uh, this word communication is derived from the Latin word communico. Communico means communi communico or communicare. It means to share. So sharing the information, the ideas, emotions. So this type of sharing can be uh, done with the help of communication. So there are a number of types of uh, sharing we can do with the help of communication. So the best communication can only be done with the help of language. So language is the best medium of communication. But uh, in the uh, ancient age, we can do the sh uh, sharing of our ideas with the help of pictures, signs, symbols. So they, that is the medium of their communication. But in recent age or in modern age, we are using communication. Uh, and that uh, communication is uh, going through with, with number of languages. So because of that, language is the best medium of communication. So in today's world, organizations are changing their roles rapidly. So they are changing uh, right, uh, right now. We are facing pandemic situation. So because of that, we are uh, communicating with the help of our uh, advanced technology that can be uh, MS Teams software or Zoom. So these are the things which are changing day by day. So to fulfill our uh, objectives, the organizations must have effective communication. So we are uh, doing the same thing, that is communication with the help of effective sources, effective mediums. So therefore, uh, communication is considered as the lifeblood for organizations. So uh, without communication, man cannot live in the society. Like that, uh, without communication, we cannot work in the organizations. So because of that thing, uh, it is called as lifeblood in the organizations. So there are a number of definitions given by a uh, number of thinkers of communication. So uh, some definitions we are going through in this lecture. Uh, first definition is given by Peter Little. Communication is a process by which information is being transformed or transmitted between the individuals or organizations so that an understanding response results. So this communication uh, definition is given by Peter Little. So according to him, that uh, communication is a process by which information is transformed from one person to another person or organizations. And uh, in through that communication, the both persons are understanding the response or feedback from one person to another person. So uh, the second definition is given by W.H. Newman. W.H. Uh, Newman gives the simple definitions, uh, simple definition that is communication is an exchange of ideas, facts and emotions between two or more persons. So this is the uh, one of the simple definitions of the communication. So uh, through communication, we are exchanging our ideas, our facts, or our emotions, or other things with the help of language. So this is the definition given by W.H. Newman. Uh, next definition is given by George Terry. It is, uh, it is a continuous thinking process dealing with the transmission and interchange with understanding of ideas, facts, and courses of actions. So after all, all the uh, summary or all the, uh, the meaning of every uh, definition is the same. That is the exchange of our ideas with the help of some sources, some mediums or some uh, languages. So 
in this uh, definition is also josh terry discussing that uh, it is a continuous thinking process so like uh, we know that uh, communication is a uh, cycle of uh, cycle and it is a process so it is not uh, uh, stopping at any time right so because of that it is dealing with transmission and interchange so we are change interchanging or exchanging our ideas our facts or the process of actions so according to him this is the communication we are uh, doing continuous thinking about our communication so a uh, next definition is given by uh, c a brown it is the process of transmitting ideas or thoughts from one person to another person for the purpose of creating understanding in the thinking of the person receiving communication so here also uh, c a brown discussing the same thing that through communication we should understand whatever the other person is uh, want uh, is wanted to uh, exchange from uh, him so whenever we are having communication there are two persons one is the sender and another is the receiver so whatever the sender is uh, exchanging to receiver so those ideas those things should be understood by the receiver and after that receiver should uh, send the proper feedback that can be negative or that can be positive no matter but that should be reached out to the sender so after that only the other uh, further process will take place so uh, after that these are the definitions uh, of communication next thing we are going to uh, see that communication cycle how this communication process is taken place so first of all uh, we know that uh, for communication we need two people so those two people two people or more so the first person uh, uh, apart from uh, uh, among the uh, two people first person is called as sender so and the other person is called as receiver so those senders uh, functions are encoding so what is encoding encoding means it is the presentation of the abstract idea which existed in the mind of sender so before uh, uh, exchanging the idea sender has to perform number of functions to pass on that information to the receiver so first of all he has he should have the raw idea in his mind and after that only he has to uh, present that idea in the form of picture language or any diagram and after encoding means after presentation of that idea in the understandable language of the receiver at that time only that communication or that message can be transferred from sender to receiver so encoding means what it is the presentation of idea right after that uh, next thing uh, sender has to do that he has to select the proper channel of communication the channel which can be understood by the receiver so there are number of mediums of number of channels of communication uh, like uh, we can use the uh, recent channel that is email because it is the fastest one but from the ancient age there are other other channels of communications also so that is uh, uh, in the ancient age that communication or the message can be passed through pigeon and that message is uh, uh, received by the receiver uh, after a long time so that uh, that is the uh, time consuming process but after the uh, time is changing the process of the receiver or the process of the communication is uh, making a uh, making extra effort or making very uh, progress or pro uh, progress so after uh, encoding that idea sender has to select the proper channel of communication and after selecting proper channel of communication he has to pass on or he has to send that uh, message to the receiver so after that uh, the receiving process uh, is started so after receiving is uh, finished 
the process or the functions of receiver uh, is started so there are two functions of receiver uh, first one is uh, decoding decoding means he has to understand he has to understand the uh, message which is sent by the sender and after decoding that uh, message should be uh, encode by him also because encode encoding means what he has to encode that message and after all that the last stage of communication that is feedback he has to send the feedback to the sender so this is the process of communication cycle so after that uh, in communication cycle there are uh, elements of communication also which which are uh, the important one so the process of communication has to run through different elements and stages so these are the stages without that the communication cannot take place so the chain of communication it combines various elements have their own unique identity effective communicator must have the knowledge of various elements of communication cycle so the whatever the elements which are uh, included in communication those are as follows first one is the sender so who is the sender sender is the first and the foremost element in the communication cycle without him the communication process he cannot take place and he transmits the idea or who wants to transmit or exchange the idea so uh, that is the function of sender he has to transmit whatever he wanted to exchange so the sender begins initiates the communication process and seeks for feedback so he has two functions or two expectations he has to first of all uh, initiate the process of communication and he needs the feedback because if he uh, getting feedback after the communication at that time only he uh, understand that whatever the uh, message he transmitted to the receiver that is understood by him or not uh, the effective communication depends on the sender and receivers and receives the feedback so that is the thing uh, the sender has to expect the sender is crucial in communication to select the channel for communication he encodes the message in appropriate medium of communication so uh, that medium of communication is also important to encoding the message so the sender convey the message through ideas thoughts or feelings so whatever things he was he wanted to share those things he can share with the help of uh, the channel so the, uh, there are uh, uh, two uh, images that is the source and the receiver so that ear is the receiver and the person who is speaking that is the transmission of message that is the sender so these are the two things which we can understand that uh, whatever the source is transmi uh, transmitting so th the receiver has to take on it as it is and if it is not possible at that time there can be the misunderstanding in the mind of receiver and sender so these are the things next uh, element of communication is an idea an idea plays very important role in communication process it is nothing but the concept thought or the plan which is to be transmitted to the receiver so an idea begins in the mind of the sender so an idea means it is the raw or abstract idea which is existed in the mind of sender after that only after idea existed that idea can be uh, transmitted in the form of message with the help of encoding so the, for example the boy says how beautiful the garden is and the beauty of garden is an idea right so these are the things so that idea is explained or expressed by that boy so that idea has to be come in the mind of that boy after that only he can pass on that idea or the thought right so 
after that uh, next thing is that and encoding encoding is what encoding means initiating the message the process in which the sender shapes designs structures the message in such a way that the receiver should get the exact meaning out of the message so encoding uh, why encoding is important because whenever encoding is doing by the uh, receiver or sender that uh, should be understood by the receiver or sender also so this encoding is the main thing or main element in communication because it is the understanding from the side of sender and the, from the side of receiver also so at the time of encoding the sender should take in consideration the elements like age gender social education background and maturity understanding capacity of the receiver right so these are things which uh, sender has to consider while communication and while uh, structuring the message so he has to consider the age of the receiver uh, uh, his gender social education uh, sorry social uh, status educational background and maturity all these things are important because uh, these are the things which are the uh, responsible for the feedback if uh, these things cannot be considered by the sender so he cannot uh, uh, get proper feedback from the receiver or expected feedback from the receiver for example the station master encodes railway timetable in a tabular form so whenever things are in tabular form those things can be understood properly right so the or the result analysis given by the institute in the form of chart so these are the examples which can be uh, taken as the encoding so whenever any picture or any table or any chart is given that chart or table is um, very well uh, understood by the students so because of that the, these things can be uh, used while teaching also next element is message what is message the message is the content topic or an issue of the sender so whatever the content of the message or the uh, idea that is the message it is an organized idea after all the process is going on that um, idea is converted into a message it is proper organized idea or thought or content is known as message it can be emotion abstract concept or emotion in the form of letter or gesture it is his her thought feeling or idea right so for example the teacher teaches barriers of communication so this is the uh, idea which is existed in the mind of teacher and it becomes the message he organized though that idea into message and that message is given to the students right the message must be delivered through some course for example uh, for example words or actions these are defined as modes medias or channels of communication right so the message is the uh, thing which is delivered through some course right the medium of communication used for communication is channel it is like language or body language it can be written communication it can be traditional one or it can be modern one so there are number of things which are included in the, all the points so those can be the sources or mediums of message by which we can organized of uh, by, by which we can organize our message right then channel what is channel channel is what uh, it is the it is the medium of message right through which we can uh, through which we can pass on our idea right after that there is decoding decoding is a psychological process 
why it is a psychological process because it contains understanding from the side of a receiver the sender engages himself in the interpretation of the received content right so after receiving the message from sender to receiver send uh, receiver has to interpret the received content he has to analyze and he has to create meaning and understand the message so he has to an analyze the message uh, by which the person or the sender send the message so if the understanding is the same at that time only uh, sender can get the appropriate or ideal feedback from the receiver so sender uh, receives the message in form of codes he creates meaning out of the message right and an attempt to understand the received message is decoding so understanding of the received message is called as decoding so uh, next thing is that the receiver he is the uh, second most uh, important element in the communication cycle or the process the receiver is the second important element in cycle of communication communication depends upon his maturity and understanding capacity so on this capacity because of that thing only uh, decoding is called as psychological process it is the maturity of a receiver it depends on the maturity of receiver and his understanding or her, her understanding so the receiver creates meaning out of the received content he also gives feedback to the sender so these are the things which has to do by the uh, receiver he has to receive he has to get that message and he has to analyze that message and after that he has to organize the feedback for the sender so when that uh, feedback is organized by the receiver he he will be ready to pass on that feedback to the sender so the effectiveness of communication depends on his feedback so whatever feedback is expected by the sender that is the thing that is the thing on which the communication is uh, depends right unless he passes appropriate feedback communication is incomplete so when a person other person means sender uh, needs appropriate feedback and if he is not getting ideal or expected feedback so that communication cycle can be incomplete one or can be a failure one so he should uh, get the proper feedback and after that only that communication cycle can be complete one for example the boss dictating notes to the secretary so these are the things and the boss is known as the sender and the secretary is known as the receiver so the boss and secretary has to uh, consider all the things they should have the coordination and after that coordination only the uh, dictation can be uh, done by secretary and last uh, element of communication is the feedback feedback is the response reply or reaction given by the receiver to the sender so it is the response or a reply and reaction so the reaction why it is called as a reaction because reaction can be uh, given with the help of gestures with the help of your uh, uh, body language because uh, the uh, feedback is not only in the form of language language can be anything it can be body language it can be written it can be oral all types of feedback can be considered in the communication so instant and consistent feedback decides the success of any communication and without com uh, feedback no communication can become successful so uh, these are the things these are the important things in regard of feedback so it is classified in major three forms first one is positive feedback what is meant by positive feedback positive feedback means it encourages to the sender if a uh, sender gets the positive feedback uh, positive feedback gives confirmation to communication 
in positive feedback the communication becomes successful so uh, according to sender if he gets feedback to him at that time that can be a successful communication then negative feedback is the second one it discourages the sender why because sender uh, negative feedback enables the sender to modify his message so after he gets negative feedback he has to again encode his idea in other form in other way and send it to the receiver so it may be regarded as the failure of communication it can be failure of sender or the failure of mediums of communication right and third type of feedback is what descriptive feedback in descriptive feedback the sender receives a descriptive answer and not a confirmed answer from the side of receiver so there can be uh, explanation uh, uh, sent by the receiver to the sender and it can be also the feedback so these are the three types of feedback in communication so this is the channel of communication this is the uh, cycle of communication so uh, there is first person is sender that is the source and other person uh, who is standing uh, to other side that is recipient that is the receiver so which are the things which are included in uh, communication that is first of all encoding then uh, the signal that he has to decide the channel of communication that can be any channel and after that the signal goes towards the uh, recipient that is receiver and he has to decode that idea so whatever the idea he whatever the idea sent from the sender and after that recipient has to give mm -hmm. the feedback to the sender so uh, when sender send that message to the receiver he is sender and other one is uh, receiver but when uh, receiver sending feedback to the sender at that time that roles are vice versa at that time receiver becomes sender and sender becomes receiver so these are the elements of communication so uh, these are the things which i want to uh, which i have uh, i want to share with you